Hey YouTube, it's Derek from Dev Mentors, and first of all, I would like to give you a very short update from my side regarding the clean architecture slash CQRS mini course. I think I'm on track when it comes to recording the whole material, so hopefully, yeah, once I will <laughs> edit and render it, yeah, I think that the whole material should be available around a week. Uh, so just fasten your seatbelts because I think that yeah, that's gonna be quite a lot of material uh, hopefully hopefully good one so uh, today's topic is completely different uh, I thought that maybe you'll find it useful when it comes to configuration of my git for windows I, I don't know how about you but I use git quite frequently on my daily basis and I don't like things that are basically ugly <laughs> So the regular Git for Windows for me is something that yeah, I couldn't accept. So over during my so-called career, I used a few different command lines, which were which gave me this flexibility when it comes to the overall customization of let's say fonts, color schemes, etc. And the last one I used was I think Codemo, but I found that the combination of two things, which is the Git bash and the windows terminal it's just the ultimate one that i actually was looking for for years so today we'll just go through the whole configuration process and we'll see how to make your git bash look looks like this hopefully you'll like it and yeah i think that without further ado we can just jump into the not the code but yeah but into the terminal and just play with it for a while Okay, so as you can see, I already have my git bash up and running and I also got Windows Terminal, which I've got from Microsoft Store. So if you if you type Windows Terminal, you should probably get Windows, Windows Terminal app as the very first one. So let's just download it and open. And yeah, just like in my case, the default profile should be set to Windows PowerShell and on the very top you have two icons. First is the plus, which will just open another instance of your default profile. In my case, this is just another instance of Windows PowerShell. And you also have an option for opening uh, some others predefined profiles, which in uh, your case should be also Command Prompt and Azure Cloud Shell. But yeah, what I would like to do first is create my own custom profile for Git Bash. So I will just go to settings. And in here you will find a few different sections regarding, let's say, appearance, color schemes, yeah, some key bindings. But let's just start with defining our own custom profile. So below in this section, I will just go to add new profile. I'm not interested in duplicating already uh, existing profiles. So I'll just add new from scratch. Let's just call it git bash and here in the command line uh, I'll just copy paste the proper path to my bash and this should work just fine assuming that you haven't changed your installation process for git for windows uh, actually this login is not required those two minus i minus l will just make sure that your bash profile will get low will get loaded uh, every time you'll open git bash within the windows terminal so this is the first thing um, you can set the starting directory which which i'm not not going to do right now uh, but i would like to change the icon from this i think that this is the command prompt icon to rather uh, the one from git for windows so i'll just remove it and paste the path to my original git for windows icon which is somewhere in the as you can see share git directory so I can now save it and you should see that we have indeed our fourth profile which we've done by ourselves so let's just open it and yeah this is git running in your windows terminal um, the next thing that i would like to do is to set this particular uh, profile so our git bash profile as a default because once I will click plus you can see that I've got another instance of PowerShell and I'm not a I'm not the biggest enthusiast when it comes to PowerShell so let's just change the default profile 
selection. And we can either do this from the UI or as a, some sort of alternative, you can open the settings JSON. So down below, you can see this icon, open JSON file. And this will open Visual Studio Code with the whole JSON, which represent whole your settings. So in here you have different, different setups for your color schemes, etc. But on the very top, you should see section called profiles and the list of our four profiles. So those three were predefined and this is the one that we've added. So each of the profile contains different properties, but the one that we're currently interested in is the GUID, which is nothing more but the identifier of this profile. So I'll just copy the identifier of our Git bash. And in here you have the section called default profile. And yeah, it's just a matter of changing this to our custom one. So once you save it and then click plus, you should see that now this should be changed to our git bash. And of course, if we'll rerun the whole application, we should start also with the git bash itself. So works as expected. Uh, the only thing that bothers me now is of course the appearance. It's, I would, wouldn't say it's very pretty, especially when it comes to, let's say, ls command. And this gives you this yeah, kind of matrix style um, output. Of course, you can already go to settings, let's say appearance, uh, sorry, to the git bash appearance, and let's say change the color scheme to something else, maybe tango light. Yeah, maybe this is something that you would enjoy. And this immediately changes to some different color scheme. And if you would like to change the particular color scheme, you just go to color schemes, select, let's say tango light and yeah, you can just set it to whatever you want, click save. And you should see that this actually immediately gets changed. Yeah, however, I would like to make uh, my git bash look, looks kinda, I would say more professional and maybe um, change it in the way that the bash itself will give me already a way more information, especially when it comes to managing my repositories. So the very first thing I would like to install is this git bash for Windows uh, Powerline theme. And this is the preview, how this should look like. The cool thing about it is first it looks cool. Uh, the second thing is that this integrates quite nicely with the repository. So you can see on which branch you're actually in, how many, uh, let's say, commits you need to push, uh, maybe you're behind the uh, the hat, maybe you have some uncommitted changes. So then this part of the of this whole path will will turn into into red. So you will see that yeah, I need to, I've got some uncommitted changes, which should be probably committed and pushed to to master or some some other branch. So here's the installation process. Very simple. I will just grab it and go to my terminal. Uh, let me just maybe change it to something slightly different because this looks just awful. So let's just get back to something more traditional. Okay. And I'll just paste this, click enter. And yeah, there was just a repository that got cloned into some sort of directory. And this directory is in here. So bash themes git bash windows power line. And that's step number one. Let's just get back and we have another section. So then we need to add this section to our bash RC. So to open it, just type, let's say code. So I would like to open this using code. Then we will type the following. So dash and then dot bash RC. Let's click. Okay, and once you have it, this should be by default uh, empty. Let's just paste this, Control S, you can close it. And now let's just rerun the terminal and you can already see that, yeah, something happens. However, this doesn't look right to me. And this is because we miss some sort of fonts. Uh, so I think that as a next step, we could install the necessary fonts uh, because we will need this for another tool anyway. So let's just go to nerd fonts. So nerd fonts, quite popular repository, I would say, yeah, like 
30k of source so that's quite mature so in here i will go to patch phones and i would like to get maybe something from jetbrains so jetbrains mono no ligatures then regular complete and i will grab this one so jetbrains mono nl regular nerd font complete ttf file so once you click it you can go to download you should see this maybe in here just open it install yeah i already have it so i'll just install this up again this font okay and now i can go to settings once again to my git bash profile appearance and let's just change the font face to jetbrains mono nl nerd font okay let's just do save and you can already see that now it looks it looks way better however let's just go to some sort of repository so in my case that would be repos maybe see the clean architecture yeah i'm doing this while recording the clean architecture uh, mini course for you and let's just type ls minus l so this is the the output it's i would say not very pretty uh, let's just go to maybe some some other directory so yeah the api and this is the output so uh, i would say the typical one the typical ls output uh, but the thing that bothers me is that i would like to maybe see of course i i can see the extensions of each, each of this uh, each of these files or the directories but yeah i would like to make my ls command slightly prettier so what you can do is to install this lsd the looks i think uh, so this lsd extension which will make your ls command looks like this which is way better i would say so the installation process for the windows as you can see requires scoop so if you type scoop install you can go to scoop.sh and the whole process is shown in here so I can take the command and this needs to be run as you can see from the PowerShell. So let's just run the PowerShell in here and install it. So in my case, this is already installed and this is why I've got this, why this information. So once you actually have the scoop, you can get back to your LSD and do scoop install LSD. Uh, simple as that so scoop install lsd in my case this should be already also already in place but yeah I've, i see that i've got some updates yeah in my case that was rather an update but yeah this should work uh, just fine for you so uh, this is it when it comes to the installation process so now when i type ls let's say minus L, the output is exactly the same. However, if I will do LSD minus L, the output is way better and yeah, gets more detailed and we've got like cool colors. So this is really cool. Um, however, of course, if you're used to the LS command, it's probably you'd like some sort of, some sort of alias for for your uh, LSD command. So I would like to do LS minus L and got this sort of output rather than this one. So of course we can do this quite easily within our Windows terminal. To do this, you just need to type alias and let's say LS equals, and this actually will be replaced by LSD command. So now when I do LSD minus, sorry, LS minus L, the output is as expected. However, the issue with this approach is basically it's not persisted anywhere. So once I will just relaunch my Windows terminal and type ls minus l, maybe not here because that would just be painful. So our clean architecture, let's just do ls minus l. Yeah, the output is still uh, not pretty it's rather regular ls command rather than our lsd extension so we we need to 
make sure that this alias gets loaded every single time that we launch our Windows terminal. So let's just get back to our bash RC in which we put our theme definition for this power line stuff. So I'll just do code. And once again, that was dash dot bash RC. And this is our line for the theme definition. And here I will just do alias ls equals lsd. Let's just save it, rerun the application. And now once I will jump back to our terminal, yeah, the output is just as expected. So I'm almost satisfied with the overall result. However, I don't like the color schemes. So this is something that I've got already configured. The only thing that needs to be changed within my color schemes in my Git bash profile is to change it to Tango Dark. I will just click Save. And now you should see that the overall color scheme is just way much prettier. And one thing I would like to show is that once I will get some sort of repository, let's say our packet project, and here you can see already that I've got like, I'm already on my master branch. Let's just maybe mess up with this project. So I'll create some sort of um, text file. So text.txt and yeah, I can do git status. I can see that I added my text.txt file and this turned into red, which means that I've got some uncommitted changes. So let's just add so add it, text file. And yeah, this now turned to uh, green again. And I've got also information that yeah, I've got one, one changed which needs to be pushed. So now it's time for the last finishing touch, I would say. Let's just go to settings again. And in our appearance, we can look for the option called yeah enable acrylic let's just flick it to on and you can change the opacity of our window let's just stick with 50 percent let's click save now as you can see we've got this opacity uh, if we will basically click somewhere uh, outside of our window now that this, uh, this opacity is gone once i will focus again i could see that the opacity is actually in here and I can see through through my terminal. So I think that this looks very cool. And yeah, for me, it's just satisfying. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it's just satisfying to have pretty terminal. It's kind of it's kind of important for me to, to have some nice colors being set up. So hopefully, hopefully you will find it useful. Hopefully this will maybe increase your productivity. Uh, just keep in mind that all the settings will be put in the video description and yeah if you like it you can leave the uh, subscription if you haven't subscribed us yet yet uh, you can also give us a like this will help us hopefully to spread this video to some wider audience and that's pretty much it for today probably the next video that we're going to publish on our channel will be announced mini course about clean architecture and CQRS. As you can already see, there is some serious repository <laughs> being created especially for you and especially for this purpose. So just stay tuned and see ya.